yo what's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome to the channel this is the rth podcast man i'm your host nephew and i'm checking in man so we got uh an australian beef going on here man it seemed like the king versus the guy who want to take the throne and it's crazy bro because uh with the the loud roars of the crowd uh in the tony harrison versus tim zoo fighter or tim zoo versus tony harrison whichever way you guys want to see it um you would think that uh tim zoo is that man in australia but when you go into the australian uh, side of things they seem to think that michael zephra is the king of australia all right so uh last time i had tim zoo on the show um he was talking about just getting back into the ring man and you know staying busy staying active riding that newfound wave of new fans and people recognizing him you know when you're a boxer it's kind of hard to uh keep the momentum on your side you know that's why you see guys like errol spence jr right now um who's kind of going down that totem pole um and very fast uh might i add because of the way of him not getting into the ring and just fighting somebody anybody would be good you know just to keep your face out there for the fans um even even the likes of uh uh tyson fury as well going down that 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 same little tunnel of people just not being interested in you no more so uh i think tim zoo really understands that and he's just trying to stay in everybody's face stay in their face stay in their face give them a fight give them a fight give them a fight even if it's not undisputed just stay in their face bro so that way people can recognize him and they'll be excited to see him fight when the chun uh when the charlo fight does come around right but in that instance bro he was looking for a legitimate guy to get in the ring with and he's looking at michael zephyr or his team is looking at michael zephyr or pbc is looking at michael zephyr whoever is looking that way they decided to send a zephyr and offer now that offer that was sent um from the pbc to zephyr was too little it was too cheap it wasn't enough money so uh basically in so many words they threw it away um it was it was to the point where even um zephyr's uh promoter was like bro i'm it's not even worth mentioning how low that was you know what i'm saying and uh you know tim zoo's team is kind of like man y'all always ducking man y'all always running why y'all just acting like y'all can't get in the ring with us and have a fight man y'all always acting scary over there what's wrong with y'all man and uh, Zephyr's team was like, man, we ain't scary, man. Why y'all so cheap? Y'all got all that money over there. Y'all like y'all can't uh, put no money on the table for Zephyr to go in there and knock Tim Zoo head off his shoulders, man. What y'all, what y'all got going on over there, man? Y'all, y'all gotta up your bag, man. Get a little bit more money over there. Then we'll come talk to y'all, type stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I'm paraphrasing here, bro. <laughs> but I am keeping it real, though. So let me read this report for y'all, bro, so y'all can see that I ain't lying to you, man. So basically, in so many words, it says, uh, it says, uh, don't try to get to the spot where I was. Okay, it says, uh, at the moment, Tim Zoo does not have a set opponent for his next fight. I can confirm there was a recent approach again for Zephyr to fight Tim for his next fight before Charlo Rose told the news court. Unfortunately, the approach was turned down. Tim is looking to stay active and he wants to fight the best available. Zephra is mandatory for the WBA middleweight crown. And the PBC asked me if Zephra would be interested in fighting Tim Zoo. It said this was a world title opportunity. Tim was the world, I'm sorry, Tim has the world title after beating Tony Harrison last month. And it would have been massive for the Australian boxing fans. It was the in the preliminary stages. We were looking at a possible opponent for Zephra. Um, I mean, we were looking at a possible opponent, and Zephra was the one guy on the list. Tim wasn't aware of the offer, but would have taken the fight with no problems. How much longer can Zephra keep avoiding Tim? right 
which is me saying what I was saying. They think that he is ducking, bro. But if you go to uh, Zephyr's team, they said, I, uh, well, his manager says, I'm a uh, mix. I guess it's his nickname. I am mix manager. And he was offered, I mean, sorry, he was never offered this fight by Matt Rose. Matt and I talk, and he knows where he can reach me. Someone from PBC approached me with an offer that was not even worth mentioning. See, I told you guys, Zephra versus Tim Zoo is the biggest fight in Australia in years and could do 300,000 pay-per-view buys easily. All right? With Zephra selling the fight. All right? Which is crazy because they're not even saying they need Tim Zoo to get 300,000 buys. But that's crazy. Uh, let's face it. Zephra is the one that will sell this fight. He has the talent. He has the look and the charisma. Plus, he's controversial. So, this fight will break all of Ozzy's records. All right? The other guy, Tim Zoo, has the personality of a dead Salman. Alright, so Zephra would take this fight on his shoulders without question and sell it into a pay-per-view monster, bruh. So this is the words from both of their promotion teams, basically saying in so many words, he's ducking, no, there's cheap. He's ducking, no, they ain't paying enough money. He running from me, and I ain't running nowhere, I'm ready to fight you, man, just put some money on the table. So that's basically what's going on here, y'all know how I am, man. When it comes to stuff like this, especially when it comes to the bag, bro, I just stay out of it because you can't call somebody a duck that's trying to feed their family, all right? That's the thing, right? So you don't want to go in there and take massive punishment and get low reward. Like, I know we can say, oh, well, the championship belt is the reward. No, it's not. No, it's not. I mean, if you guys don't don't understand that, just look at some of these uh, some of these ranking systems where guys who have championship gold is still being put on the guys who don't even have belts. You know what I'm saying? If you're looking at Tank versus Ryan that has no championship goals on the line and it's the biggest uh, ticket sale in the game right now. And if you look at Devin Haney versus Lomachenko, it is not going to do half as much and it has all of the belts on the line. So basically at the end of the day, money is the most important thing in the sport of boxing. We should all know that by now. And if you don't, I just explained it to you. So uh, you can't get mad at Zephyr if you don't want to take the fight because they're not giving him enough money. All right, you can't be mad about that. Um, but it would suck. I mean, if, especially if it could break um, Ozzy's records. It's and especially with the the kind of uh, momentum that Tim Zoo has right now. Uh, especially if he were to lose, right? Like if he if, if he were to lose prior to getting this fight, it won't do as good. Right, so if, if Tim Zoo goes and have a fight with somebody next, and and he loses that fight, well then when he goes back to see Zephra, no matter how, no matter how uh, good the rivalry is, it still won't do half as much as it could do right now, with how much uh, momentum that uh, Tim Zoo has moving forward you see what i'm saying so i don't know man i will definitely keep my eyes on this one and let you guys know uh how this develops you know what i'm saying because uh it does seem like it will be a legitimate fight Three hundred thousand pay-per-view buys i wonder what the house numbers will look like the live gate i wonder what that will look like so you're probably looking at about five hundred thousand you know five hundred thousand uh all together Maybe about it, cause if you're saying three hundred thousand buys with just one person selling it, bro, it could do five hundred thousand on pay per view alone. Uh, with, with the exclusion of um, y'all, y'all already know the bootlegging. Uh, but yeah, man, if it can do that, man, I don't know, man. Who y'all got winning though, man? Before we get up out of here, man, do you guys see uh Tim Zoo, man, being too much for Michael Zephyr, man, laying the hammer down like he did versus Tony Harrison, maybe even putting him to sleep. Um, and and walking out as the new king of Australia, cause I thought, bro, with the response that Tim Zhu had, I thought he was the king of Australia, bro. Like I told you guys, I'm new to this, bro, so I don't know all of these stories. There's certain stories that I am familiar with, and there's certain stories that I'm not. 
But because I want to give you guys legitimate content, bro, I go looking for stories all over the world, bro. All over the world, man. You might catch somebody here that you 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 might know in your personal life, especially if you're around the boxing scene, bro. I, I've, I've had several people tell me that, bro. You you covering somebody that I know. Like, I know that person for real. Like You know what I'm saying? So it, 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 it just what I do, bro. I like to look around for the news. So, uh, yeah, man, I don't know how deep this, this, this story goes, bro, but... I thought he was the king, man, and to figure out that it's Michael Zephyr, bro, man. So that that just lets me know that, man, I don't know everything when it comes to boxing, you know what I'm saying? But do you guys see uh, Michael Zephyr uh, getting a dub? Do you think that Tim Zoo don't have enough power for Zephyr, man? Do you guys think that Zephyr can go in here and spoil it? Because you got to think about this, bro. If Tim Zoo goes into the ring versus Michael Zephyr and he loses... He also loses his ticket to Paradise to go see um, Jamel Charlo in the ring for Undisputed. And Zephyr would take that, that that title shot and go and get the Undisputed title shot, right? So, dog, this is, like I said, I think Tim Zoo is a madman, bro. Who, who wants to keep putting it on the line? Who want to walk around with a dang lottery ticket full of money and don't go cash it in? That's Tim Zoo right now. He's so crazy. He just he just careless. He's walking around. He, he's waving the lottery ticket in the air while he's driving two hundred miles down the hour, uh, down down the highway. I mean, nobody should ever drive that. I'm just man crazy here. You know what I'm saying? I'm just you know giving an example. He just letting it flop flap in the wind. He could easily the wind could easily pick it up and throw it into the air and somebody else can get it. Is what I'm trying to get to, right? Or he's just he's just walking. He's walking like a madman, bro. Like, he don't care about nothing and fear nobody, bro. And Zephyr could definitely take this away from him, bro, if you guys really want to be honest about it, man. Because, I mean, no, nobody's perfect. I do think it'll be a, a tough and tall order, bro, because Tim Zoo can punch, bro. That dude can punch. But I don't know, man. I, I can't really do the side-by-side -side until it get written, and then we can talk about it in future videos. Like I said, I will keep my eyes on this, this story for you guys. And I will definitely let you guys know how it develops, um, when it develops, okay? This is the RTH Podcast. I am your host, Nephew, and I'm signing out. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm signing out. Y'all take it easy, bruh. Peace.